Hey, this is a Tire Geek Woman Adventures with Rhiannon with Oblivion, episode number 72. And it's been a while um, for me, as if you, for my regular subscribers and viewers, if you've seen, I made an announcement, I've made two announcements about my health issues. About five weeks ago, I ended up getting uh, shingles, which added to added to the problems that I already deal with on a daily basis. And then after uh, shingles last usually a couple of weeks for most people, and then it goes away and that's it for and if they have hopefully the rest of their life, but a lot of times you can get it again. Um, it is the chicken pox virus that if you had chicken pox as a child, you have that in your system and it's the same virus that can cause shingles. And it can happen multiple times in your life. Anyway, um, it just absolutely knocked me out. The pain was too much and I don't have, I'm, I'm allergic to almost all pain medications. There's very little that my doctor can do to help, but he's been trying like crazy to help because I also, after uh, the shingles supposedly went away, I still had the shingles pain. And apparently it's called, uh, I started to say it's, Pre, uh, no, I'm sorry, post, uh, hep, hepric, I'm sorry, I'm saying that wrong. I know I'm, last word is, um, night neuralgia. Basically it has to do with the nerves in your system. And so the, the nerve endings are just still flaming and hurting nonstop 24 seven. So anyway, um, my poor doctor is doing everything he can. It's been five weeks uh, since I've done any recordings because I did, the pain has been just too much. It's too much for me to sit in my chair. And uh, so I sound a little fuzzy because my doctor has me on a whole bunch of pain medications that are mm, moderately helping at the, at the most. <laughs> and so I sound a little fuzzy, but I really wanted to get some recordings in this week if I could. Um, I, ended up, I tried to work ahead. You guys know that, uh, I was barely ahead when this hit. And then since then it's been over about two weeks or a little bit more since I've done any recordings. So I wanted to get back to it. I miss it and I miss oblivion. So without further ado and without me rattling on, let's get to it. Um, Rihanna ended up getting this thing called a sanguine rose. Um, and I, in the previous episode, I used it and I thought, oh my gosh, this is horrible. This one's going to Martin. So we were looking for an artifact that we could take to Martin to further along our journey. And this one is going to go. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to change. Uh, I don't want to have an, I don't want to go back to the arena. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is it at? All these I don't want to do. Here it is right here. I have the Daedric artifact, which Martin, which Martin needs for the ritual to open the portal to Cameron's paradise, and I should bring it to him at Cloud Ruler. So this is um, part of a very long um, quest, and we've done a number of things for it. This is going to further along the main quest line, and I really want to do that. Um, I'm kind of there in my mind. It's like, let's get going. Uh, come here, my beautiful wildfire. And if you don't know why I have a horse named Wildfire, you have to go back and look at the, uh, um, uh, you'll have to look at where I got Wildfire. Or how, where are we going? Oh, that's way up there. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go to, I'm there, I want to go straight north and I want to stop in at. I want to stop in at coral and sell stuff. So let's get on it. Yes, wildfire. So when I was a young girl, a teenage girl, there was a beautiful song called Wildfire. And it's basically about this girl who's lost her horse. She's searching for wildfire. And uh, I loved it. And so anytime I can name a horse in a game, that's what I name my horse. Wildfire. Awesome. <laughs> ah, 
I'm looking around the rock. I'm trying to avoid any creatures or anything else. Oh wait, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is hack dirt. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna avoid hack dirt. Oh my gosh, guys. Previous episode, you gotta go check that out. That's a weird little town. I'm afraid of it. Yeah, we're gonna go around hack dirt if we even have to go through crazy places. We're going to avoid hack dirt. Whoops. North and a little bit off there. You can go around this without being attacked. Okay, dears. My dears. Okay, I'm not got to get you. I'm not gonna shoot you, kill you, or use magic. Put it here, I think. Alright. Oops. Not yet. <laughs> Wait, is that Yeah, it's there. What the heck? Okay. That's leaving. We're gonna go back. I like to park my horse at the gates. I'm sorry, yeah, where the stable is. What the heck? I'm getting confused. Uh, I like to park my heart, put my horse at the gates where the stable is because I forget where I put it if I don't do that every time. I have short term memory loss and it's a real pain in the neck. And so there's little tricks and things that I use to help myself. And one is there's a stable and there's a gate. And in this case, there's Blossom previous episode. Uh, so that's how I remember where I put my horse. We're gonna go in here and see what time it is. It's 5 30 in the morning. So we're gonna run up here and this is where we're going to um, go in when it's time. So let's see that it was 5 45. So 5 45. About three hours would be eight forty six. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna sell stuff and repair anything that needs to be repaired, and I'll be right back. Okay, we sold quite a few things eighty four thousand eight hundred and one. All right, let's get on. Can yes, Master, you need me. Oh, I don't need you. That must be somebody from the Fighters Guild. We are the uh, leader of the Fighters Guild, so when they see us, they say that. Funny. Like, I... Yes, Master. Yes, I am the Master. Here, uh, let's see. Make sure we click on the right one. I don't know why Blossom hangs out there. Kind of a pain in the neck. Hello. Hello. Alright, we should be going this way, I do believe. Uh, uh, oh yeah, when we get to Wayne and Prairie, we go. There's a way you can cut up north, I think. There, little tunnel right there. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna go see Martin again. My beloved Martin with the pretty blue eyes and the very comforting voice. Wait. So, um, there are more and more uh, gates. I'm avoiding the uh, bears, like the plague, and anything else that hits me and um, hurts my armor, and I don't get much for it. So, fun. Ah! Those guys just showed up. <laughs> 
I, I hate it when I, you know, I'm rattling along and talking along and I don't pay attention. Something's chasing me. Go get it, will you? Um, and um, all of a sudden I'm, I realize I've, you know, gone way out of my way. I've done that so many times because I just rattle on. I don't pay close attention. I don't check my map enough. So that's why i kind of been doing that. A beautiful fall day up here in the northern part of Cyrodiil. Facing me. Okay. You have my ears. Oh, I was just just checking. But sometimes I get like I'll, I'll arrive at a gate and there's like three wolves that are chasing me. Like what the heck? Guards, kill them. We are getting closer, so we're just going to hop into Bruma real quick. If I have anything. I don't think I have anything else to sell. Because we haven't stopped, we haven't, we've kind of been marching along here. Had no bandits stop us or anything, so we're doing pretty good. We may end up just skipping Bruma all together. Swing on around and head up to the Cloud Ruler Temple. Look at this beautiful scenery. Oh my gosh. Oblivion is so... This is the vanilla version of Oblivion, and I just think it's so beautiful. And by the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. I'm having mic problems. Uh, hopefully I can get that solved tomorrow. I ordered some st equipment. Uh, but uh, what's happening is it's not picking up my voice correctly. So if I lower my voice to a certain level, um, like at the end of a sentence or something... It's been cutting everything off um, and not picking up things. So uh, I think it's a power. My, my son thinks it's, it's a power uh, issue. And so hopefully my resolution will take care of the problem. So in the meantime, I'm speaking. I've turned my volume up. Whoops. Uh, I've turned my uh, volume on my... Uh, uh, on my... Uh, software as loud as I can turn the game volume down a little bit and hopefully this sounds okay uh, previous F a previous uh, game that I did and uploaded this week sounded really bad this there's a mountain lion I'm trying to avoid I don't want it stopping and if I get to the gate they'll take care of it so hopefully you can hear me uh, okay yeah, I want to keep on. Take me on around. I think it does. We didn't really have anything. Who are you and what are you? Do you. The, uh, yeah, this is the path of Cloud Ruler Temple. Uh, so, anyway, um, I hope you're hearing me okay. And uh, so I'll find out in post edit. I always edit my videos for phone calls and sneezes and whatever else. And um, I, that's when I find out. And I was so disappointed in my previous episode. I told their pre not this episode, not, blah, not Oblivion, but uh, another game. I was so disappointed in how it sounded. And uh, so I just said, hey, just ignore me. Pay attention to the story in that case. Uh, it was really, you know, that was a game that was okay to do. Okay. Here we are, Cloud Ruler Temple. We're getting ready to talk to Martin, and this is serious. This is serious business. Here we go. I'm gonna go talk to my Martin. Oh, my handsome Martin. What are you doing? I figured out another item needed for the ritual. Oh, you did? To open the portal to Cameron's Paradise. Good. The second item is the counterpart to the first, the blood of a divine. This was a terrible puzzle to me. Unlike the Daedra Lords, the gods have no artifacts and do not physically manifest themselves in our world. How then to obtain the blood of a god? But Joffrey solved it. The blood of Tiber Septum himself, who became one of the divines. This is a secret remembered only by the Blades. Passed down from one Grand Master to the next. Joffrey should tell it to you himself. 
Well, okay. Uh, in the meantime, I have a Daedric artifact to give you. I won't ask what you went through to obtain this, my friend. I know all too well the depravity of the Princes of Oblivion. Are you ready to give me the artifact? Remember, the ritual will consume its physical form. It won't be seen again on Tamriel for many years. I would be okay if I never saw it again. So, um, usually in Oblivion, you want to make sure that you say everything that um, is all the options of the conversation. Unlike a lot of games, the newer games where your choices and your things that you say um, affect the game, affect the outcome of the game, affect all kinds of things. Um, in Oblivion, that's not usually the case. In this case, we have to make a decision. So our options are, I'm not ready yet, so we can back off, back away and go get a different one. Uh, give Azura a star. Heck no, we're not doing that. We're going to give the Sanguine Rose. Goodbye, Sanguine I never thought to see this again. You've seen it before? I once possessed it, briefly. A lifetime ago, it seems now. To obtain it and then give it up. I honor your dedication to our cause. Oh, really? It's no problem. Seriously. What else can I do to help? You should talk to Joffrey. He needs your help. Trouble down in Bruma, I think. Uh-oh. Trouble in Bruma. Be sure to speak to Joffrey about the armor of Tiber Septim. I'll um, continue my study of the Mysterium Xarxes. Be in there. Okay, I wonder if... Look at this quest real quick. Um, blood of... Okay, Ma Martin has deciphered the second item needed for the ritual. Blood of the Divine. He could not... Imagine a way to attain such a thing until Joffrey suggested a solution. The blood of Tiber Septim, who was once mortal, but became a god. I should ask Joffrey how to obtain the blood. And Martin told me that Joffrey needs to speak with me about the broom again. Joffrey must be here. What do you need, friend? Oh, hi, Boris. Nothing. Nothing at all. There he is. I've just received word from the Countess of Bruma that an Oblivion Gate has opened outside the city. It seems that the Mythic Dawn are putting their plan to attack Bruma into motion. Since you've dealt with these gates before, I'd like you to help the Countess's guard close this gate. Once they've seen how it's done, they should be able to handle any new gates on their own. Okay, and where is this gate? Captain Bird is waiting for you outside the Bruma City Gate. He'll show you the Oblivion Gate, although I doubt it will be hard to find. Yeah. Okay, tell me about this armor of Tiber Septim. So, Martin wants you to recover the armor of Tiber Septim. I wish there was another way. The armor is in the shrine of Tiber Septim, in the catacombs beneath the ruins of Sankator, a holy place once. But Sankator became evil long ago. No one has returned from the shrine of Tiber Septim for many lifetimes. What evil lurked in Sankator? I do not know. The catacombs of Sankator were sealed by the first Grand Master of the Blades. The four mightiest blades of Tiber Septim's day, Elaine, Valdemar, Relus, and Kaznar, went to Sankator and never returned. Here, this is the key to Sankator's outer door. I fear I am sending you to your death, but we have no other choice. You must succeed. Well, thanks a lot, Jeffrey, for sending me to my death. Uh, the four mightiest blades never came back? I mean, come on! Uh, armor of Tiber Septim. An ancient relic of the First Emperor, who became the Divine Talos, the patron of our order. After the Battle of Sankator, Tiber Septim gave his armor to the Blades in honor of our role in his victory. The Blades built a shrine in the catacombs of Sankator, on the spot where Tiber Septim received the blessing of Akatosh. The armor has been there ever since. Before evil came to Sankator, this shrine was a place of pilgrimage for all Blades. 
but no one has visited the shrine and lived to tell the tale in centuries. Wonderful. So that's my job. You should rendezvous with Captain Bird immediately. The sooner that gate is closed, the better. Alrighty then. Okay, so uh, if you've been watching, have you helped Captain Bird and his men? Close I the haven't end of the even gate gotten gate. out there yet. Please, Louise. Uh, if you have watched in, uh, my um, this series, this is episode seventy-two, then you will know that I have avoided the Oblivion Gates, and it's not that I can't do them. I've done them before. Um, it's that. I don't like them. They're, I don't like fighting the creatures in them. And the, you know, the, this is the main quest line, so we're going to go do this one. But the other ones, the random ones, if you just go off and do one, another one will pop up, and another one, and another, and another one. Now, if you're into getting a lot of armor, a lot of money, level up your characters beyond all recognition, then you should do it. Go for it. I don't like doing it. And I'm taking I'm sorry I'm taking my horse. Uh one thing that I did want to mention that I um uh mention every once in a while is you saw me how slow I was taking my horse down um the steps. If you take your horse down too steep of a uh of a uh, incline like that, you can get them killed. So um uh, and if you kill them and then you take damage too, you can die. All right, so let's see, where are we at here? We are at Burma, North Gate. Oh, this is the North Gate, okay. Where did everybody go? But, because we came down from the south. I still don't know who that dead person is. But you know, it may have happened in a previous episode and I just don't remember it. That's very possible. Oh my heavens, welcome to my life. So anyway, it's okay, it's a good life. Have a good life. All right, so I'm going to go put my horse away in here. We're going to go talk to uh, Captain Bird and say, what's going on here, Captain Bird? Do that. Yes, I'm a compulsive saver. That's why I have 1,292 saves. And this is just on the uh, team version. There he is. Thanks for coming. Since we had the hero of Kavach available, I didn't think it made sense to try this on our own the first time. We're ready when you are. Just say the word and we'll follow you into that hell spawned gate. Well, you know what? I really don't have much option. Here we go. All right. Give me a minute to talk to the men. Everyone's a bit jumpy right now. Understand. All right, boys, listen up. We've got to close that gate over. At the, let's check. Uh, oh, he's yeah. He'll yeah. He'll yap yeah, on. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, it has zero uses. We cannot have that. Let's get this thing charged up. I've been so 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 bad about using my uh, soul gems. Where is it? Enough. Actually, that fills it up. Okay, I wanted to make sure. Nobody likes the idea of going into that thing, but it's our job, and we're going to do it. If we don't, Bruma ends up a smoking pile of rubble, like what happened at Kavach. And that's not going to happen here. Not while I'm captain of the guard. You tell him. <laughs> Boor, Soren, go with me. The rest of you, stay outside and kill anything that comes out of that gate. Let's show these bastards how we do things in Bruma. We yeah. have you right. Oh. Look out. Well, your guys are supposed to get them. Ah. What the heck? Am I supposed to be impressed? Stay sharp. Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh my gosh. 
This is going to be such a pain in the neck with three of them. So far, so good. If you guys would just stay back, I would handle this so much better. Okay, and these things right here, they attack you. Awesome. You know, if these guys just stay that far away and hold still. But these guys are going to get in my way. Here comes another one. Yeah, they're going to get in my way. Look out. Let's get this over. And sometimes if I shoot like that, they will um they don't think these really they don't have much usually. Um, if I shoot them, then they walk right into my fire. Where did you guys go? I've got that one. <laughs> Almost dead. Well, for Pete's sakes, I would prefer that we don't be all dead already. My goodness. This is going to be tough because of these guys being with me. Uh, because I can't, you know, I have to be careful how I shoot and where I shoot and when I swing my sword because they can walk right into it and then they're dead. How are you? You're pretty good. How's he doing? He usually heals himself. Okay. Let's get back to uh, what we were doing. Back, guys. Okay. If, ah! The one up there. I could... They run up there. Oh, no, no. I've got that one. No, I got it. What one? What Hello. one are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's so funny. Okay. Um. I've got that one. What one? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't worry about him. Buddy, heal up. One, I think, this way. Stay away from those things. Okay, is everybody alive? Not three quarters dead? Okay, why don't we heal you a little bit? He doesn't seem, he doesn't seem to have healing um, capabilities. The other one seems to. Why are you scowling at me for? Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to get this guy ready and we're going to do this. Holy cow. I prefer they all come back with this, right? Hit the quit button. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got a fire astronaut. Need to do that. Here comes another one. Than you. Where's he going? Oh, come on. Here comes another one. Okay. You got him looking at it. What is that? The fire astronaut. Is okay. All right. So what I started to do was. Of my compulsive saves because I really don't want to um, die, have these guys die. If I ran through this myself, it would not be hard. Okay, these things are going to shoot fire at us, so let's try to dodge it. Here comes another one. There's one right here. Oh, don't go after them. I think I hit them. Okay, that's is that bird? 
Yeah, he does. Okay, let's go. I mean, come on. Get away from these things. Go. The right. Yep. Help us. We should go the way we're pointing. Hey, okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 I saw you. Okay. Try to get that one before I use it. Stay sharp. I did. Oh, let's see. I need to do a little bit of healing on me. Go ahead and make him a... my conjurations increase it. Stay sharp. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you. Oh, I hate these things. From Mora. But they sometimes have really good weapons. So as I said, if you wanted to uh get get your character uh buffed up and get tons of money then uh this is oh! stay sharp of it <laughs> this is the place to do it you can get really you can get a lot of sorry about that i have i have a twitch in my hand sometimes and it did it just did it let's go ahead and What's happening behind me Whoop. I don't like what I'm hearing behind me. Is everybody alive? Uh, and you don't have a whole lot of health. Go ahead and get him fixed up. Get ready to go into some battle. Come on. Let's get ready for battle, dude. Okay, you're high healed up. You're a little bit low, but we'll go ahead and get you here. At least, yeah, a couple. Yeah, I should, I, you know, I could get a higher um, bell like this, but it does the job for the most part. I mean, usually I'm just healing my horse, I'm not healing the people that I'm taking with me, but I really would like for them to get back home to their families. And, um, you know, so. Okay. Kind of wonder up here. Look out! Oh, no! This else? Oh, he wasn't dead? I thought he was dead. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Staff of Rune 727. I'm not going to use it, but I want to sell it. Nice. I'm looking for really the high value items because we're going to get heavy here. We'll get heavy here real quick. Guys, everybody good? Hurt you too much? Alright. I think we're coming very close to a door. Hopefully. I hate those things. I've got that. Another staff of run. Holy crud. Don't need the money, but we'll take it. Oh, we are coming up on a, a door here. I've got that one. Oh my gosh. Seriously? I'd like to take that too, but we're going to get more, I think, weapons. Okay, uh, door. 
So let's do it, guys. Look out! Ah! So far, so good. Are so good. Whoa. So let's see. What's the heat? What a treat does he have? I would love to take that, but it's so heavy. Oh, but he can't. Okay. All right. Get this uh, helper here. Stay sharp. Aha, there were something. Go get them. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Ah! Please tell me that. Ay, ay, ay. Get overloaded before. Oh. That we're almost. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. How's everybody doing? Uh, how's everybody doing? A little bit. He usually heals himself, so I don't know why he didn't. All right, let's get back to Bella here. All right, so the the uh, goal of these uh, things is to get higher. Sometimes you get higher and you have to go to another tower and another tower and another tower and another tower. So it's really a pain in the neck. I hate this. This is why I don't. Uh, but they're pretty much all the same. So if you are doing them to get your skills up and stuff, it's not that hard because they're all you. There's a template basically. All right, so so far so good. So far so good. Uh, agreed, agreed, agreed. So basically, just try to go up, 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 and up. Be very careful when you get up here because sometimes, most of the time, something after you. But those are those will hurt you. Oh, hello there. Take that fountain. And we've got an option left and right. Um, don't want to go over there because there's spikes in. Them. Okay, let's go in here. This is going up, and that's good. I want to keep going up, up, up. And sometimes it's not right. You're gonna have to go down. You go up, and then you have to go down. Those, but perhaps is a trick. Red. Whoa. Figured it. We're up. We go. Hmm. Wrong turn. Pods had gold and all kinds of All right. Now we need to go up more because eventually we're going to get to the top of that thing. So far, so good. Everybody's alive, so I'm very happy about that. Anything here? 
not so I can just squeak in here. Guys, we're so far, so good. Hey, let, let me lead you. Okay. Guess we'll follow the right way. Old dungeon trick. Ah, oh, no, 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 Look you out. don't. Evening. Did he just say evening? So far. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've only really got ten uh, weight left. Use those potions. We'll let you slide on down the hill. So far, so good. So far, so good. Now, if we needed to restore our mag magica, we can go there and go over there to our health. Oh no, that's a pod. Perhaps. Oh. So, like, if you come in here empty, you could be loaded when you leave. Totally loaded. Down for bear. Fire day. Just hold still for a second. Whoa. I got that one. If you choose to share your time with me, you humble me. <laughs> so far, so good. Wow. Very nice. Thank you for staying so. Oh, I said that twice already. These always just have fire salts as far as I know. Okay. Okay. Whoa, we're I think we're almost there. It is Look out. Ooh, a sigil key. I had a feeling this. Wait. You all right? Cool. Then open door with a sigil key. Bird and I have reached the sigil stone chamber. Now to close the gate. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, we'll be careful. We'll be very, very careful. We are there. Look out! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, if you'd let me. I would get I would just get it for you. I think there's more up here. Yeah, there is. Here comes another one. Here. Uh one of you guys. Oh come on, I don't want them to kill my guys. Oh my gosh. Look out! Is okay? What? What? Okay. You say that, but you, you know. Let me help. A weird black glove. Okay, everybody is alive. Okay, let's go around. Uh, I think we already checked that one. Whoa, look at this. Oh my gosh. I wish. Okay, guys. That is how you do it. You ready? If you haven't seen this before. Bam! Sizzle stone taken. A 
And the gate to the oblivion is gone. I close the gate with Captain Bird. I should ask him if he needs any more help from me. Stay sharp. Oh, let's get take care of this thing. Please, by all means. Anything to go wrong? Oh, what I'm supposed to say. How about you did it, Captain? You closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't think we'd ever see you alive again. Believe me, it was no picnic. But thanks to our friend here, I now know we can close these hell gates. We can defend Bruma. Can't. Wait. It was an honor to serve with you, ma'am. Now that I've seen how it's done, I think my guardsmen and I can handle any new gates that open near Bruma. It. Thanks for your help closing that gate. Don't worry. We can handle anything else they throw at us. Farewell. Okay. I think I'm going to go into Bruma and sell all my stuff. How do I get out of here? All right, there's my horsey. And what time is it? 10.47 a.m. All right, we'll just have to rest, sleep at the Fighter's Guild. Earlier episode, the Mage's Guild got destroyed. How are you? It was kind of a big deal. And, um, so we can't really sleep there anymore. But we can't sleep at the Fighter's Guild. Which... We can sleep here. And then after we sleep here, we will sell stuff. Oh no. I have no idea. It's like I come to these places once in a blue moon and I have no clue what is where. I don't know if this is sleeping quarters. It looks like it is. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do want to get up around. Uh, let's see. My goodness, that was no picnic. I said it was no picnic, uh, but we did it. Cool. It is 6. It's a little early. Oh, I'm supposed to tell Joffrey what happened. Hi there. And Joffrey's up What's going at, on with you? Um, there are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstein and remove the Imperial Fort on the island. Uh, yes, I'm here to sell stuff and then I gotta go, I guess I gotta go up to, um, Cloud Ruler Temple. And I know it's just early, we're gonna wait. And report to Joffrey and see what he has to say. And I'm going to sell stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, made a few sales there. We're up to 87,459. Sweet. Alright, let's go grab a horse and run up to... Um, uh, yeah, right. Cloud Ruler Temple. I know what I was trying... I'm thinking two different things. Don't ever do that when you're trying to record. Pay attention. Focus what you're doing. Uh, a video recording 101. Uh, don't listen to me. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. I want to see my map. Go the wrong way. I'm going to circle around here to the left. Oh, got it. I thought so. I think you can go either way. It doesn't matter. Mapper is pointing me this way. Past the dead lady laying on the ground. Right on up into the mountains there. We did this very early on. Uh, we found Martin. 
at Kavach and we brought him up here. Kind of a cool thing. Oh, I'm glad to be back working on the main quest line. There's lots to do still. Um, but I'm glad to get this further to look. Joffrey. Joffrey, wait. Good work. Captain Bird and his guardsmen should be able to handle any additional gates, at least for now. But the Bruma Guard cannot defend the city indefinitely. The Daedra of Oblivion are innumerable. The guardsmen of Bruma are not. We need to gather what allies we can before Bruma is hopelessly besieged. If the Mythic Dawn manages to open a great gate here, the city will need a stronger garrison for there to be any hope of defending it. You should speak to the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil, as well as the Elder Council. Ask them to send aid to Bruma before it is too late. Okay, and what else can I do to help? Keep working on obtaining the items Martin needs for the ritual. Everything else is just buying time for us to get the Amulet of Kings back from Mankar Cameron. I agree. Aid for Bruma? Bruma cannot hold off the hordes of Oblivion alone. You should ask the rulers of the other cities of Cyrodiil to send help. Hey. Okay. You should speak to the rulers of Cyrodiil as soon as possible. The danger to Bruma is growing by the day. Okay. So, I have never done this quest before. And I can't tell you what happened. I don't know I don't know how it happened that I didn't get the quest. Um, but I've never done it, so that's something new for me. So I'm not sure, but I think we're getting right at about an hour. And as always, I try not to go over an hour, um, with my videos because, uh, I think it's too long for someone to watch. And also it's exhausting for me because I got to go back and edit it and I'll render it and get it on the website, you know, get it on my YouTube channel and then check it and put all kinds of stuff. It's just, it's a lot of work. It's okay. Uh, it generally takes me about four hours per one hour video. And I'm cool with that. It's fine. Makes it a part-time job in my retirement and one that I love so much. I want to thank you all for following me along. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell. And what that does is alert you to new videos when I upload them. As you can see, this is my upload schedule right there. I am playing three playthroughs right now. Oblivion, Baldur's Gate 3, and Stardew Valley. On Fridays, I've mentioned this before, this is Fun Frolic Friday, and I put fun games on that wheel. We spin it, and then we find out what we're going to play. So that's so cool, and it's been really fun. It adds variety to my channel, but more importantly, it adds variety to my gameplay. And I'm enjoying it, and I hope you guys are too. And if you, uh, there is a Discord server, if you would like to join the conversation about the videos that are about the games that I'm playing and other topics as well, there's also a place where you can promote your own YouTube channel and videos, and you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to see what other people are doing. If you would like to help out a retired senior gamer YouTube channel, you can click on the join button anywhere that's on. I don't know what you're watching me on. Uh, your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, your tablet, whatever. There should be a join button there somewhere. If you hit that join button for as little as 99 cents a month, you can help out a retired senior gamer YouTube channel. And as mentioned, this is my part-time job in my retirement. The most important thing, as always, is I want you to have a wonderful rest of your day.